Evaluating your prototypes with user study participants can become quite difficult. Therefore, I want to give you 5 plus 1 bonus UX hacks on evaluating your prototypes today. Hello and welcome back everyone to today's video. I don't want to waste your time, so let's throw two minutes on the clock like with every UX hacks video and let's get into the five plus one UX hacks on evaluating your prototypes. The first UX hack on evaluating your prototypes is that you should not evaluate your own solutions. You might be biased, it is your solution, so you want it to be a good one. So therefore you might try subconsciously to manipulate the user study participant. Also, if the participants know that this is your solution, they don't want to hurt your feelings. So therefore I would advise you to let a colleague evaluate your prototypes. The second UX hack on evaluating your solutions is that you need to know what you want to evaluate. What is the part of your system, of your product, software or service that you want to evaluate? Create a goal during the user study preparation. Get to know what is it that you want to gain insights for. And then you might not even need the entire prototype, but only a part of it. But that part needs to be tested intensively. The third UX hack on evaluating your prototypes is that you should make a pre-study. There's nothing worse than having a participant come to the user study and nothing is working. There are multiple reasons why your study might not be working. The three most common ones are that you have a logic issue within your study setup. So maybe one step in the beginning is required that one step at the very end of the study can be executed and you have missed that step at the very beginning. The second one that can happen is that a feature simply is not implemented in the prototype. And the third one is that you simply forgot one step in your preparation checklist and you've maybe forgot to print the questionnaires. The fourth UX hack on evaluating your prototypes is that you should remind the participants of when their scheduled appointment is. There are two reasons for that. The first one is that participants simply might forget that they have to take place in the user study. And the second one is that user study participants simply might become one day early or so. And this is also not good because when they are too late, you have to send them back home and they have to return the next day, which they might not even do. And the fifth UX hack that you need to consider when you want to evaluate your prototypes is that you need to calculate enough time between the different participants. This is a good thing that you should do because after every participant you have to clean up. You maybe want to have a short break to get a drink or something to eat yourself. And of course you have to prepare everything for the next participant, like printing the question is. And what also might be needed is that you have to reset the software that you are using. So therefore, I would advise you to calculate enough time between the different participants. I hope I made it in the two minutes today. And the plus one bonus your X hack that I want to give to you on evaluating your prototypes is that you need to be prepared for technical issues. The more advanced your prototypes become and the more they rely on technical aspects, the more likely it is that not everything is working. So be prepared for technical issues. I hope you can take something away from these five plus one UX hacks. If you like that video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn the notification bell on and also hit the like button. And I'll see you on Thursday.